Okay, let's talk about object snapping. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about object snapping within object mode. Then in the next video, we'll look at mesh snapping for when we're working in edit mode. Snapping in Blender is pretty straightforward. Uh, first and foremost, you can activate snapping during any transform, including tr uh, translate, rotate, scale, etc. simply by selecting the object, activating the transform that you wish to use, and then simply holding down the control key. And this will then use the currently select or currently chosen snapping method and just holding down control allows us to snap to that element. So by default, it's set to grid snapping. And if I zoom out here, you can see that it uses the the lowest visible uh, grid unit. So as we zoom in, you know, we get tighter and tighter grid units and it will then just use the smallest of those two. If we activate the transform, hold down control and shift, then it'll go to a smaller increment. You can see down here in the bottom left corner, it's illustrating uh, what I'm currently snapping to, which is increments of looks to be 0.01. And on the other hand, if you hit G and hold down shift only, then you have no snapping, but it then refines and lessens the transform amount such that you have more precise or more smooth transforms. Now, if you want to change your snap type, you can just go down here to the bottom of the viewport, and you can see that the magnet icon represents whether the active toggle st or active snap state is on or off by default. By default, it's off, such that you have to hold down control. But if you turn it on, then it will snap all objects or all transforms by default, and then you simply hold down control if you wish to disable the transforms. We can then change our snapping type or snap element here between increment, vertex, edge, face, or volume. Generally, you know, vertex is pretty common use. So if we just use this one, we can see that we then immediately have a couple extra features. But first, let's just see what it does. If we hit G, start our transform, and then hold down, or actually snapping is already enabled. So we can see if we just move over there, it automatically snaps to those vertices. And by default, it uses the, the closest one. And we can then switch that over to center, median, active, or whatever we choose. So if we go center, hit G, and snap, you can see it's snapping the object origin of our cube that we're moving over to the vertex of our other object. Same thing, we can choose between median and active, etc. Uh, for whichever one you want to use. We also have this button here to align the rotation with the snapping target. Um, sometimes this can be a little finicky and generally, you know, is going to be used if you're rotating or something like that. Um, don't use it very often, but it's there if you need it. We've got the same others, such as edge, face, volume, etc. And these do, you know, exactly what you would expect them to do. Pretty straightforward. Um, volume is the one that's maybe a little bit different, but it just snaps directly to the volume based on the view. So, for example, if I go to front view, and let's just move this along the y-axis, and then hit G, snap to there, it's just immediately snapped to the center along that axis. Same thing if I do it from the top view, you can see it snap along there. And then in the case that your object happens to have holes in it, you can then enable this button to consider it whole uh, when snapping. So it'll just basically use the, you know, find its bounding volume of sorts. So that's the essence of snapping via our elements here. But there's one other common type of snapping that we'll use a lot, and that is by using Shift S as our hotkey, which allows us to snap either our selection or our cursor to any number of things. So for example, if I want to place my 3D cursor just over here, and then I wanna snap this object directly to that cursor, because maybe I've centered this cursor very precisely or whatnot, then I can simply select the object, hit Shift S, and choose Selection to Cursor, and it will immediately snap to that cursor. Same thing, if I wanna snap my cursor to this object, I can simply select the object, hit Shift S, and choose Cursor to Selected. And then we have the same thing, um, Kurt, we've got cursor to grid, selection to grid, cursor to active. So if I say select this object and then this object to make this my active selection and hit shift S, cursor to active, it's gonna snap to that one. Uh, so fairly straightforward and simple, works really well uh, for positioning objects around one another. You can do it you know, any number of ways. Say select my cursor here, shift S and cursor to grid, select my object, shift S and selection to cursor or selection and grid or whatever you wanna do. So quick and easy, works great. Uh, that is snapping in Blender. It's pretty straightforward, it's not super advanced, but it generally gets the job done for what you need.